There are so many things that go into making a great video game, such as the storyline, gameplay, or graphic environments. But all of that is useless unless the game sells off the store shelf. You may not be able to judge a book by its cover, but you better get a good idea of what a game's about when you look at the package front. We want to be able to get the shot that excites the gamer, excites the consumer, and shows them something that they've never seen before. I think people just don't understand the amount of effort that goes into it. This is a package that sits on a shelf with thousands and thousands of other games. And how do we attract the buyer, the consumer, to this particular package? That's, that's the challenge. And to meet the challenge, it takes a lot of coordination and cooperation, especially with a game like SOCOM 2 that prides itself on being authentic down to the last detail. To get the most realistic gaming experience, the developers, designers, and producers have been consulting every step of the way with the Office of Naval Special Warfare and SWIC, the boat warriors who support special operations missions. So when it came time to create the game cover for SOCOM 2, an enormous effort would be required by the PlayStation team to retain that realism while creating a dramatic and dynamic look. There are so many opportunities here to show the game itself. We're going to try to carry it from a still image and translate that into the final product to touch the consumer. It's a tall order that needs to be filled in a well-planned photo shoot involving a lot of people and even more equipment. In order to make this happen, we need to have a clearance from the Navy, not only for our team that will be down there to make sure we get the shots we need, but the photographer and his crew. We need the Navy SEALs and their team. We need the Naval Public Affairs Office. Bringing all that together, it's a little complicated. The PlayStation Underground tagged along to provide a glimpse behind the curtain of the process and procedure of creating the photo materials for an incredible game. You know, we can talk to the Navy and say, would you guys do this? Would, on a mission, would this be done? Um, what kind of things would be done here? We wanted to make sure that this didn't look like a Hollywood setup. Everything that we do here is true to how the SEALs would actually move, how they would walk cover each other, anything and everything. For this particular package front, we are aiming to put the seals in the water and have them coming out of the water. So this is the, uh, the final sketch that we have. This is what we're going to be trying to match as close as possible. We're looking to, to capture water coming off uh, these uh, seals' faces, um, the, the urban settings, uh, the elements, the dirt, the grind. As a photographer, the biggest challenge is to photograph men of power. And these guys are super men of power, and I have to get emotion out of them. But the Navy SEALs have their own idea of what the shoot is about. I think one of the things we're really trying to concentrate on bringing here to the shoot is accuracy. You know, we've seen thousands of movies where we look at a picture and think, my God, what are they doing? That's ridiculous. It gives America somewhat of an insight to what we do every day. When working with Navy SEALs and SWIC personnel, the photographer must take what is given and know that that will be more than enough. Usually when we work in the advertising world, we're, we're faking everything. You know, we have an actor, we have a model, we have props, we have wardrobe. You come here, they have everything. They have the proper face paint, they have the proper weapons. I don't have to worry about authenticity. But I just have to kind of have the place of people and let them go through a scenario, and they gave me more than I could ever direct them into. I got Navy SEALs, I got guns, I got, you know, I got boats, you know, what more can you ask for? When you get the real thing, people know it, and kids are a lot smarter today. They're not snowed over with the fake stuff that people really get excited when they know that actual SEALs are on the package front. This photo shoot has been geared towards maintaining authenticity of the Navy SEAL and SWIC experience, but state-of-the-art production techniques will be incorporated to deliver the final product. So many elements that go into this package front. One photo is actually a composite of about 20. You have the guys, you have the water, you have the water dripping, you have the city element. On top of all that, you have to drop a logo on the front, as large as it can possibly be. We're going to have to do a little bit of uh, magic and digitally incorporate the different elements. What we're trying to do more than anything else is enhance it a little bit without losing the life of the original image. But not so much that the original reason for using still photos is forgotten. The reason we do this with photography and not, say, a 3D render 
or an illustration, there's no life there. And that's what this game has got. This game has got a lot of life. What's going to guide us on, on what images are, are going to be used when it's all said and done? Honestly, part of it is just a gut reaction. You look at the image and you say, wow, that's cool. When it's all done and you see it on the shelf, it is complete. The logos are where they need to be, the guys are where they need to be, all the colors are, are dead on and, and everybody is signed off on it and it now lives and breathes on the shelf. That's probably one of the most exciting parts of the job. Come on guys, this is our chance. Are you gonna flank left? All right, man, let's take him out. Copy that. I got your back. Here we go, here we go. Reach, 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 go! I got two at nine o'clock, two at 12. I'm taking major fire. Where's it coming from? It's an ambush, man. Back up, back up! No, I can't see anything! I'm hit! I'm out too. I'm hit! Ah, I'm down. <sighs> Where are these guys? <laughs> like shooting fish in a bucket. SOCOM. U.S. Navy SEALs. Now playing online. Rated M for Mature. Well, I think music overall in every media and platform um, is doing the same thing. It's boosting the level of emotional effect and adding some, you might say, uh, like a third or fourth dimension. And uh, the same effect that, um, or the same reason why we have music in film or TV or other. Um, I think in games it's actually even more important because when you see film, you see it once and that's it. When you're playing game, you can play the same scene again and again and again. And the music and the way the music is reacting really makes or supposed to make the player excited and into the game. And this is our mission. Great section. Let's take uh, measure 36 through measure 341 uh, uh, there and turn these quarter notes into 16 syncopation. Dun, dun, two, three, dun, dun. So dotted eight, exactly, dotted eight to a 16. All string section. This is this is the difference between something that is amateur or professional. When you're going to present your game, I think that the average gamer could tell if your game came from Sony or somewhere else, you know. And the same thing with orchestra. I think that they will know if the whole thing is just you know synthesizers or there is you know live orchestra. There, we don't need to say a lot, but I think that if, you know, big time films are still recording big live orchestras, they have good reasons. And I tell you, this reason is exactly the difference between amateur work and professional work. That's it.
U.S. Navy SEALs, rated M for mission. Objective completed. Forças Armadas Revolucionárias? Deserção? Você é insignificante! Mas o que poderia esperar de um homem?
счет корабля. Я его возьму. All right, let's go, guys. Cougar, I got you back. Roger that. Jester, you copy? What's he doing? Jester? Jester! Hold your fire! Hey, he almost shot me! What the... Jester! You idiot! Oh! I'm out. Me too! Oh, man, Jester, what's the deal, dude? What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> SOCOM 2, U.S. Navy SEALs, rated M for mature. Jester? Um.